is the class you now observing is a social study class. Mr. Anderson is the instructor. This group is from Stratton Junior High School. Mr. Anderson, will you step over here, please? Mr. Anderson, how do you like the outdoor education program? Oh, I think it's a fine idea, Mr. C. Do you think it's a nice opportunity for the students? Yes, sir, I sure do. I think the children really enjoy this. What do you think the outcome will be next week after the students return back to the classroom? Oh, I think they'll want to be out here, really. I don't think anyone wants to go back. Could you tell what the students are now doing here in your class by, sit by being outside? What are in other words, could you just tell what they are doing? Uh, yes, sir. They're drawing maps of this area here. They're trying to locate directions of the compass. Well, we would like to talk up to one or two of your students, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, Mr. Anderson, I'd like to ask you another question. Yes, would you like to see the other remaining of the seventh grade students come out here next week? Oh, yes, sir. I uh, think all children need an experience like this. Well, do you think it's a possibility that we might have a... The rem do you think it's a possibility that the remainder of the students would be interested in coming? Oh, I think so, yes, sir. Uh, this first group here is just more an experiment to the class there at Stratton, and um, once they get back, I think all the children, by uh, just hearing from these children, would want to come out here. Well, talking to the remainder of the teachers that's left back at Stratton, are they in favor of the program? Do they think this program, sh do they think this program will be of benefit to the students? Oh uh, yes, sir. Most of these children have never been out to a camp like this, and it's uh, good for social adjustment. And the children learn how to uh, all get along with each other. They learn about the outdoors. I think it's uh, quite a beneficial program. And I wholly endorse the program. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. We truly hope that we can get the remainder of the students from the Stratton Junior High next week because on a whole, I think they have enjoyed it. And maybe when they go back, they might influence or entice the others to come back or come out. Yes, okay, who's this young fellow we have standing here with the white uh, t-shirt on? What's your name, young man? Uh, Jerry Rourke, isn't it, Jerry? And I think this young fellow here is Keith Henry. Well, I'd like to ask both of you a question. How are you enjoying camp? It's all right. It's fine. What have you learned the past three days or a couple of days since you've been out here? I learned that uh, it's better to camp out. It's better to learn outdoors. And it's a fine opportunity to be out here. Well, we learned how to uh, use a compass. And Mr. Anderson, he helped us, and Mr. Green. And we like it pretty good out here. Do you think, how do you think uh, how would you compare classes out here in relationship to the classes in your classroom at school? How would you compare the classes here in relationship to the classes at school? These are better. <laughs> uh, they're not as long. And you have a 10 minute break after each class. Do you have a friend there at Stratton that would like to come out next week or will come out next week? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank both of you. What is your name? Mary Cole. Mary, how are you enjoying camp? Just fine. Uh, tell us something about the camp that you're enjoying or what you like about it. Well, the classes are short and the food is good. And I enjoy being outdoors with the kids and having fun. And you really enjoy the food? Yes, sir. And you're having a lot of fun? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you think you're learning anything here by being outdoors like this? Yes, we learn about the plants and all in the woods and about different kind of rocks and how to use camp campus and find directions. In other words, you're saying by being out here, you come in contact with the plants and so forth, whereas in the classroom, you won't be able to get come in direct contact with them and so forth? Yes, sir. Are you looking forward to going home Friday or do you want to go home Friday? I don't want to go home Friday. Why don't you want to go home Friday? Because I have fun out here. <laughs> Why don't you have fun in school? No. <laughs> where are you? I where those kids are.
where the two bars coming around the side of the building. This is the side of the assembly hall. This is where the students gather and probably have some classes. This is the front end of the assembly hall. Of course, the classes that you see is the social studies group, and Mr. Anderson is the instructor. We're now approaching, approaching the girls' side of the campus. There you see about four cabins, which the girls sleep in. Of course, the one on the end is the shop. In, in, in the same row, we have what we call a museum. Coming on around, we are approaching now the girls' restroom and shower room, what we call the candy store, and the main office. Somewhere down there, you will see a fellow with the green jacket on, with a jacket, which is Mr. Lowry, the camp director. He is now in front of the building. Now we're passing the flagpole, and the most important thing, we are now at the dining hall, the part, for, the part of the camp that the kids most enjoyed is the dining hall. Now we are on the other side of the campus, or the camp, where the boys live. Here we have three cabins, which house about 13 to 14 boys. Now we have the boys' restroom or the boys' shower room. And the next building you'll see will be the resource center.